so now let's talk about the paint brushes they are divided in several categories we have for example paint plus blending which is here paint plus blending I have made this uh, process just as a base basic uh, brush maybe copy it from another software which is also the canvas blending but with not really complex setup and the wet classic they're basic this is basically the same but with a radius controlled by pressure these two are the basics then we have the paint hard and shaft which is more experimental I don't use this too much maybe it will be off of the set if I don't find a good uh, function and also we have the glazing and glazing is very useful for example uh, to make base color but respecting the the lines or the structure of the painting we don't have a uh, blending modes for now and this is a good way to achieve this is a similar effect of a blending blending mode because we are respecting with a low opacity the structure of the painting and we can and we can continue painting and we have the the effect okay so glazing is very useful to create just like just like that the glazing amount of paint where we can start to work from big airbrush is uh, basically the same by the size is controlled by pressure so we can imagine this so we are low pressure just the airbrush is making this kind of nice airbrush airbrush work and if we apply more pressure we can go to thin to thick or thick to thin and this is very good for a uh, brushes guys and then we have the paint round which is very interesting also because this is very basic and have no blending features and that is good for me because there are sometimes that I don't want to blend colors I want to put the colors on and then I will blend manually not on the brush stroke so we can choose uh, between those these uh, two techniques we can blend in colors with this which is uh, blending colors on the same brush stroke as you can see here okay so now we are blending at the same time it's good but it's not always good so I have this brush to avoid this kind of, of things okay, so now I have a brush stroke which is not blending the color so just put the color over the canvas and we can control the radius define the speed and the pressure so that means that you apply pressure it's going to smaller radius and if we apply velocity I have more radius we can change this behavior here so if we for example want to disable this 
we'll have something like this very usual brush okay if we apply a negative pressure we're going from the base radius and with pressure to thin line and if we apply a positive pressure we are telling the brush that if we apply positive pressure so for more pressure more radius okay so we can have this kind of brush stroke it is very interesting have the possibility to map the radius in these two different ways okay so we can start working and <coughs> we can mix uh, parameters because we can also apply a little smooch and we are also blending the colors but not too much so I left this for your own uses I find very powerful too.